Hello, everybody, and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan. In today's lesson, we get to learn how to play Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. from the movie Ghostbusters. We'll take a look at the intro and verse in this video. That much sounds like this. Two, three, four. There we have it, the intro and verse to Ghostbusters. The other sections, synth riff, interlude, bridges, whole song run through, all that is at hdpiano.com if you're not there yet. And as always, I'd like to start with a question. How many of you guys have seen the original Ghostbusters movie? It came out in 1984 and was pretty much an instant classic. So comment below with a yes if you've seen it, a no if you haven't. All right, so let's get started on this intro. Uh, kind of this spooky feel here. And the right hand is doing two simple things. It's alternating between this chord and this chord. All right, those are the two chords, uh, and it's very constant. It plays throughout this entire intro. So we have A and D on thumb and middle. Then we shift up to the next closest note uh, on each finger. We have index on B flat, ring on E flat. So see if you can make that transition at this speed. All right, I'm gonna try it a little faster. Now this is one of those things that's kind of challenging depending on your physical ability, um, your previous experience with the piano. It might take you a while to get comfortable making this transition. So I'll urge you to do it at a slow tempo initially and gradually increase that speed until you're able to play it about here. So that is our intro right hand part. The left hand down here, this is middle C by the way. So we are one B below, two B's below, three B's below in an octave. And we're gonna play half notes, so two counts at a time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then this one we hold for eight counts. So those notes, those half notes are B. Again, they're all in octaves. G. And then the next three notes are chromatically descending, uh, which means the next closest note. So chromatically below, F sharp to F to E. So from G, we're just dropping down to the three nearest notes. From there, we pop up to D. And we end on B flats. Okay, so to recap that left hand. B's, G's, F sharps, F's, E's, D's, and ultimately B flats. Okay? So let's try the left and right hand together at a really slow tempo so you can see what's going on. One and two and ready and play. You'll hear that uh, throughout this entire section, this intro section, we do a crescendo. Okay, we go from very quiet to start, and by the end we should be very loud. Okay, so a gradual crescendo over this entire intro. Let's try it a little faster. Two, and ready, and play, and... Try a little 
faster yet. If you're struggling with these tempos, go ahead, rewind, pause, uh, try to set your own tempo, okay? One and two and ready and play. And that right there was recorded tempo, about 116 beats per minute. All right, let's do it one more time and I'll launch us into the verse riff, okay? Two, three, intro. Let's take a look at this riff. This is fun. This is kind of the part we all know. Um, and we're going to learn the synth riff that goes on top of it. Da, 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 da. All right, we're going to learn that in the next video. But first, let's learn the, uh, the bass line here. Uh, in the left hand, the bass line. B, B, D, D sharp, F sharp. And this is going to be something that you'll have to get really comfortable with um, on its own. Try that with me. A little slower. Ready, and. One and two e and play it again. One and two e and one more time. And this is where we go from there. A A E E finishes that bass line out. So boom boom boo A A E E B B up this thing. So I'm gonna play that bass line super slow. See if you can join me. Two and ready and a play e and. Faster. One and two and ready and to play and. Faster yet. Two and ready and to play and. Recorded tempo, 116 BPM. One and two and ready and play. All right, so that's the bass line. That courses throughout the intro, or pardon me, the verse riff, uh, and that verse riff comes up um, in more ways than just the verse. It's sort of filler, it's, it's this in-between section here and there. So let's get comfortable with it. Let's add the right hand. F sharp and B, I'm playing thumb and index there. Play that twice, and then we play an A chord and an E chord. The A chord is C sharp, E, A, and I'm using thumb, index, pinky there. And then the E chord is B, E, G sharp. I'm using thumb, index, ring there. So. This is the right hand on its own. Two and three. Join me. One and two and three, four. One and two and. All right, so at the end of every set of four measures, so when we play this four times, so that's the first time, second time, third time. On the fourth time, listen. We play the A chord twice every fourth time within those sets. All right? I'd like to put left and right hand together on this verse part. Think we can do it? I believe in you. Here we go. Two and nice and slow verse. Let's do it faster. Two and ready and play and. Go again. All right, if you're happy. 
having trouble with any of these tempos, go ahead, pause or rewind. Uh, some of you have speed control uh, extensions or tools uh, in your video player. Use those. Uh, let's get comfortable with this riff. This comes up a lot. And let's take the speed a little quicker than we just did. Two, and ready, and play, and... I think we're we're ready for recorded tempo 116 bpm jump bum 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 we were pretty close that last time here we go one two ready and play again So there you have it. That's the intro. That's the verse. And I'd like to put them together so we can hear them in conjunction. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it all at recorded tempo. We just learned both parts at recorded tempo. So let's put them together at 116 BPM. One, two, and one, two. Intro quiet. Getting louder. So we have a really cool synth riff to lay over top that verse um, chord progression, and I'm excited to do that in video number two. Like I mentioned before, that is at hdpiano.com. If you're not there already, um, I would be delighted to teach you the rest of this song. The song is Ghostbusters. It's by Ray Parker Jr. It's from the movie by the same title. My name's Dan. I'm teaching it to you here at HD Piano. And like I said, hdpiano.com. That's the home of the hybrid piano lesson. We have hundreds of lessons, and let's finish this one and, and get a move on. While I do have you on the line, I'd like to connect on social media for you tweeter, <laughs> tweeters, you Twitterers out there. Um, we are at HD Piano, and that's where we'll take your requests. We are using the hashtag HD Requests to uh, field your ideas and consolidate them all in one spot under that hashtag. On Instagram, we'd like to repost your performances. So show off for us, send us a video, tag us or hashtag us in your video and we will find it and repost it. On Facebook, give us a thumbs up so you can see the videos coming up in your newsfeed there. And on YouTube, click the little red rectangle to subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, let's move on to video number two, to Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. My name's Dan. This is hdpiano.com, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. I'll see you for the next section. <laughs>